Welcome to pick a card. I think you know exactly what to do. If you would like some guidance about a situation in your life, bring it to mind now and let the angels help you, give you guidance. Oh, that must be for me. It's just jumped out. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm putting it back. Okay, so pick a number, one, two and three. You've got your situation and now you should have your number. Try and stick to your number. And anybody who's chosen option one, send your energy to me now, please. Thank you. Okay, that's your card. And I'm going to take the bottom card as well. That's a bit of depth to your reading. Okay, option one, people, you can stop sending energy now. Thank you. Option two, people, please send your energy to me now. Okay, you can stop. Thanks. And then option three, people, send your energy to me now, please. Oh, felt that then. <laughs> Somebody threw it at me. Okay. Thank you. You can stop sending your energy now. I've got all the cards I need. Okay, option one, people. The card I chose for you is a page of wands and your uh, overarching energy is the magician. So let's tell you about the page of wands. First of all, because it's a page, it could be a child or it could be a message or it could even be the beginnings of something new. But it's like the tiny baby steps at the beginning of something new. So let's think of your situation then. As I'm looking at the page of wands, it's a really good energy. Because if you can see, she's like throwing her wand like a baton. She's like twirling a baton. And there's a lot of excitement and a lot of uh, good energy with this. And knowing the magician and what the magician means... You've brought this to yourself. The magician is the master creator. He's got all of the tools in his toolbox to bring into his life whatever he wants, whatever he desires. So whatever you've been wanting, whatever you've been manifesting, so your situation, the fabulous conclusion of your situation, it's just about to begin to end, if you know what I mean. He's brought it into your reality and these are the final steps and it's really really exciting so move forward with excitement and passion and um, be motivated no time to pro procrastinate anymore this is a card of movement the strategy is sorted and now it's time to step in to the result that you've manifested how lovely is that i like those two energies together I hope that helped you, option one, people. Option two, people, then, you chose, or I chose for you, the Ace of Swords and the overarching energy is the Page of Pentacles. So, again, we've got another page. So, it could be a child. It could be um, an offer, a little offer. Uh, but let's look at what the actual card, the main card, the Ace of Swords, is all about. In this deck, can you see that she's actually... Uh, got like a, a spiral staircase into a mind the swords are all about thoughts and communications and so this could be a truth this could be the unraveling of something you've not quite understood so when we're looking at your situation the ace is always the beginning of the reveal if you like especially with the ace of swords it's the beginning of the understanding or the truth or the requirements necessary the reason why i'm talking in riddles is because of this page so when we put the two together this is a the ace of swords is a very powerful and a very exciting card it's dynamic it's the start of something new and this adds an extra element it's almost like something comes in from the side to help you to help this get off the ground it's an offer, maybe it's an offer of help, or maybe it's, here's some money I owe you, or have this money, or it could be money, it could be somebody chipping into your success with that page of pentacles. 
because it's the beginning and I've got two beginning cards, energies of beginnings, I want you to take your time. This one's baby steps and this one's let it be fully revealed. But you must stay positive with both of these cards. Stay focused on your goal. Can you see they're both looking in the same direction? Yeah, I want you to focus on your goal and know exactly maybe with a to-do list, a plan, a strategy of what comes next. And I think once you know the steps, that's when somebody can come in and say, either there's this nugget of information or like I said before, here's a payment to help you or there's something there for you to get you going. I love it. There's loads of sacred geometry all over these two cards as well. So I would meditate on it. Get out of your head in a negative way and get into your head in a positive way. I hope that helped you. <laughs> okay, option three, people. Wow. Two major arcana. So you've got the devil as your main card. And you've got death, which together they look terrible. You've got death as your overarching it energy so here's the devil the devil could be an addiction it could be something where you're paying too much attention to something that isn't really relating to your situation or it could be somebody coming in trying to ruin what you're trying to achieve i don't see it because this is such a positive card your overarching energy this rebirth if you like in this deck it's all about rebirth and it's it's like a transformation it's a change that the universe brings in and so whatever's going on with this devil, it needs to go, it needs to change. But you, I wouldn't worry too much because the universe or source God of all that is love and light, you've got that help behind the scenes of the change. So maybe it's you. Maybe you're standing in your own way because you can't put the bear down or you're gambling or shopping or something. There's something that's getting in the way, but the universe is making a big change and that's you saying goodbye to old ways and becoming like a, a butterfly coming out of the chrysalis and it's almost like everything that's gone on with the devil is not so negative putting them together the, what's gone on with the devil it's been learning it's been necessary so even if it's another person in your life who's been acting in a negative way again they've helped you to grow to be able to get your wings to fly with the rebirth Okay. I don't think I can tell you any more than that. But thanks for joining for Pick a Card.